as this is my first time publicly to be able to speak to uh, our honored chiefs in assembly, I wanted to take this opportunity to acknowledge the hard work and the commitment of our former national chief, Sean Atlio, who embraced education as his first priority. And I know that he will be remembered for supporting education and for ensuring that undying commitment and the reality that we need to have education for our kids move forward. The fact that we're here today and we're all going to be discussing this most important issue is a testament, in my opinion, to the leadership that the National Chief put forward. So in the spirit of standing together, in the spirit of supporting our children, I ask our Chiefs in Assembly to look to supporting this resolution, a resolution that was embraced by all of the executive. The resolution speaks to all of the hard work dating back 40 years that we have engaged in on First Nations control or seeking First Nations control of First Nations education. It speaks to the reality that we're at a point in time where we're being challenged. We're being challenged by this government. I ask that the delegates consider reaffirming, it's in this resolution, reaffirming our December 2013 resolution that speaks to the five conditions. We recognize that Bill C-33 did not meet these five conditions. We also recognize as leaders right across the country that we had no involvement from the time the February the 7th announcement was made until the time that the bill was introduced on April the 10th. That's wrong. In spite of what I know are, were repeated requests from our region to be involved, and I know what were repeated requests from other regions to be involved. The resolution speaks to our responsibility and our commitment, as Regional Chief Gugu said, around education to come together in our regions, to continue to have discussions, to continue to put forward our solutions, and to put forward a plan from each of our regions that we commit to bringing back together to have discussions and develop a plan amongst all of our regions to challenge this legislation and move it forward. I ask that you support this resolution. I know that everyone in this room 100% wants the best for our kids. We are determined to get what is best for our children. I ask that we stand together I ask that we take this government up on their challenge and that we bring forward a solution that will ensure that we have First Nations control of First Nations education. Those who make decisions that directly affect them and are accountable make better decisions. We know what's best for our kids. We want our kids to be taught in our language and in our culture and to be proud of their identity. We owe it to our kids to support this resolution, in my opinion, to support what is contained within it, and to ensure that we have a way forward to move out from under the Indian Act towards true jurisdiction. And I ask that we come back together.